Welcome back, guys, to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney as we head into the courtroom for our second session of lawyering. Wondering if we have all the evidence we need to acquit Waki Kataki and get him into a hospital, for goodness sake. He doesn't need to be in a troll. He needs to be on a hospital bed now. Stat! This is it. The big day. Did you get any sleep? Yeah, I went to bed at 1 a.m. or so. Oh, what time did you wake up? 3 a.m. That's only two hours, Apollo. But at least you had me. And the amazing Mr. Hat. Who's looking at you, kid? Good luck today, Apollo. Th that voice. Hey, uh, can you sleep? Mr. Wright. I was going out of my mind with boredom, so I signed myself out earlier today. Somehow that place makes fake piano playing in the Indochine pasta joint seem almost fun. Daddy, do you know who prosecuted Gavin's witnesses today? Take a guess. Hmm, how about Little Plum? Ha ha ha! A Sherman tank of a mum? Nope, guess again. That's too bad, you know. Speaking of mums, you need to find me a new mummy one of these days, Daddy. It's barely morning and you're at it already, Trucy. Ha 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 Okay, see, this is why I don't buy their father-daughter relationship. So, Mr. Wright, do you know who the prosecution's witness is? Alita Tiala, your client's fiance. She's gonna be a witness? Well, that seems odd. Why would she testify against her own fiance? You have to wonder what Gavin's up to. Something's going down today, that much is clear. Well, not to worry, I've got my panties back. If we can't find a killer, I'll pull one out of there. Sure. That's how panties work. June 17th at 10 a.m. So it begins once again. Well, that jumped straight into it. Court is now in session for the trial of Waki Kataki. Defense is ready, Your Honor. Prosecution is warmed up, and it's a sold out house. Very well. To recap, while yesterday's witness seemed more guilty than any other party, guilty of panty snatching, we did find out one thing for certain. There were three people in the park at the time of the murder. The witness, the victim, and the defendant. Correct, Herr Judge. And today, I'd like to do something a little new age. I'd like to look at this horrible crime from the outside. The outside? The acquisition of the murder weapon. The preparation for the act. Our poor defendant told all, you see, to his betrothed. His... Be drove. His fiance, Herr Judge, is partner for life, with no chance for parole. Say that to the divorce rate in every country. Sad times. Very well. You may show the um lucky lady to the sand. Your name and occupation, Fräulein. Lita Tiala. My occupation is future wife. Ah, traditional values. I respect that. Too many brides these days can't even weave baskets blindfolded underwater. Yet you're here today as a witness for the prosecution. To be honest, I didn't want to testify at first. But I couldn't hide the truth. Hmm, honestly, another admirable trait. Fräulein, is it true that on the day of the crime, the defendant, Waki Kitaki, confessed his plans? His plans? For murder? Yes. The witness will please give a testimony to the court. It really jumped straight into this one, didn't it? It was the day the family health checkup results came back. When Waki found out that Dr. Maractus had lied, he flew into a rage. I'll teach him, he said. He took one of the family's pistols. And you already know what happened that night. I just don't see how anyone but Waki could have done it. So... The pistol did belong to the Kataki family, then? Yes. With regards to this, an investigation is underway at the Kataki mansion. On charges of the possession of illegal firearms. And the bullet that took the victim's life, was it? Fired from the pistol the defendant procured? Yes. This has been proven. How can you prove something like that? Bullets carry marks on the barrel that fired them, called rifling marks. Rifling marks? Think of them as being a gun's fingerprint, left on every bullet it fires. 
When did you first hear about Rocky's plan? It was the day of the murder. I... I should have stopped him. I just didn't think he would actually do it. Very well. The defense may begin the cross-examination. I'm not quite sure what statement we're looking for, so let's press. We know it's not right, after all. And of course, we get the option to do the, uh... The whole bracelet thing. Does that happen at any point in time, or will it glow or something when things are going on? It looks like it's meant to be lighting up. It was the day the family health checkup results came back. That was the day of the murder, correct? Yes. Everyone in the family received their checkup results that day. When Rocky looked at his, his face was so pale. But of course, he had just found out he had a bullet in his chest. So you were there at the time? Yes. Poor Rocky. When Rocky found out that Dr. Maractus had lied, he flew into a rage. You think you'd be as calm as possible, not wanting to move. That must have been, um, quite frightening. He was furious. He ripped his report up into shreds. Incidentally, I had to request another copy to file as evidence. A bothersome chore, but one I performed without complaint. Rocky's in an age where he's hard to control when he loses his temper. Of course, that little bit of instability is so cute. Great, now he sounds like a psychopath. I'll teach him, he said. He took one of the family's pistols. So, is it easy to take a pistol out from the house? Not really, I think. There's a system in place to limit access. The walkie's a special case, be the next in line. Perhaps the streetman was a bit too special, yeah? Well, maybe he is a bit spoiled. I hear he got amazing presents for his birthdays. Last year was a switchblade made out of chewing gum and a chocolate gravestone. That doesn't sound that really, yeah. Sounds like he has a taste for sweets. And danger. The point here being that Waki had access to a pistol. Did you already know what happened that night? What happened? Meaning the murder. I tried to stop him, I really did. But Waki wouldn't listen. Our defendant was nothing if not determined, it seems. The last thing you should do is blame yourself, miss. I just don't see how anyone but Waki could have done it. How can you say that for certain? How? Ah! Uh. Hair forehead, you will refrain from badgering the Fraulein. It was the defendant, um, Waki was it, who took the pistol from his home? We know this for a fact now. I suppose we do. So, how could anyone else have used this pistol to shoot the victim? They could not. Simple logic, yeah. That does seem to be the case. Does the defense have anything to say regarding this point? Could someone else have used that pistol? Well, yeah, because th the prints were wiped. How do we link this to the fact that we've seen, like, multiple footprints, etc., from here? Also, there were two rounds fired. And... this. So we got to link it to that. Based on your testimony, there was clearly another. One other person had access to that pistol. What's this? Hmm, interesting. Let's ask the defense then. Tell the court who this other person with access was. Well, technically it was her. Because if they're betrothed, she has access to him. But do we really want to go with that right yet? I mean, essentially, Winfred Kentucky could be it, too. Because he's the boss and all. He could have sought some revenge. Surely we're meaning her. Fail. <laughs> nah. Well, of course, I mean, you, Miss Tiala. But me? But why? You were quite clear when you told the court. You heard about the pistol from the defendant on the day of the murder. In other words, you knew what he was planning. Objection! Let me get this straight. You intend to tell us that this lady stole the pistol from her fiancé? And killed a man in cold blood on his behalf? 
I've heard of people doing strange things for love, but this... It does seem a bit unfathomable, to be sure. I'm all for romance and for supporting your partner in life, to be sure. But I think I would hesitate at murder. I'd hope you'd do more than hesitate. What if a different connection could be proven? A connection between the witness and the victim. We might find that she had a personal motive beyond wanting to help her fiancé. Hmm. That would put things in a slightly different light. What possible connection are you suggesting here? You know what I'm starting to think? I'm starting to think that the police never looked inside that safe. I have evidence showing a connection between the witness, Miss Tiala, and the victim. So this would be the... Medical notes. Saying both their names. That looks like a medical chart. Found inside a safe at the Maractus Clinic. I'd like to draw the course attention to the names written on the chart. What? Miss Tiala, whatever. Why is your name on this chart? Well, care to explain the meaning of this, Miss Tiala? I'm not sure what you mean by meaning, Mr. Justice. Our warm little fiancé just froze over. I was on staff at that clinic until half a year ago. It was boring, so I quit. That's all. Is there a problem with that? Miss Tiala, you testify that you had no connection to the victim. And I don't. Now. Now? I quit half a year ago, didn't I? So there's no connection. Let me guess. You're the kind of guy... Who can't rest until he knows every last detail of his girlfriend's past. Am I right? Uh, that's not true at all. Why, I... I embrace the ones I love. Past flaws and all. There's no connection now. It doesn't fly in a court of law. It doesn't fly? She's one tough nut. She probably feels right at home with the Katakis. You left your job at the Maractus Clinic, true. But you remain connected somehow. Very well, Mr. Justice. Show us evidence that proves the witness is still connected to the Maractus Clinic. Right, um... This. I would say. Because it shows she was there or still visiting. Wouldn't you say? These sandals were found in the Maractus Clinic lobby. They're yours, aren't they? I was right, yay! Ah! Well, who knows? I'm sure there are lots of people with those sandals. So sorry, Fraulein, but your act isn't working. Your moment of hesitation just now cost you. What was with you? I thought you were on my side. Perhaps you weren't aware that toes leave toe prints? I was! Simple analysis of these sandals will reveal all. Well, now we see your true colours. I was wrong to cooperate with you from the beginning. I just wanted... I just wanted you to help get Waki back on the straight and narrow. Hmm. This court thinks you need to worry less about Waki and more about yourself. It sounds as though we need to hear a bit more about your story. Your sandals were found in the entrance to the clinic. Which means you went there on the day of the murder. Well, there's a little point in denying it. Very well. The witness will tell us about this visit. Why did you go to the Maractus Clinic that day? Well, that went well. I should have more confidence in myself. I have completed three of these games, after all. And I'm still surprised whenever I get the evidence right. Going, is the game going to throw me a curveball? Probably. Probably not, too. I did go to the clinic that day. My first time in half a year, since I quit in January. I went to warn him. After all, I knew Waki had the pistol. The doctor's always has a timid man, too timid to admit his own mistake. Why else would I have gone? I'm not hiding any dark secrets. I wanted to tell him to be careful, as an old friend. My mistake, you mean? The mistake we heard about from the defendant? The botched operation? He was a timid small man, but I never wished him harm. I just thought I should let him know, you know? Hmm, that does make sense. Yes, but there's still one thing, which does not. What's that, Prosecutor Gavin? The sandals left in the lobby, of course. We can assume she wore these sandals to the clinic, yeah? Then why did she not wear them home? If it were me, I would have worn them home. 
I would have worn those sandals home too. They'd look fabulous on me. So why were the sandals left behind? He pointed out the contradiction before me. That's probably a good explanation for this, right, Miss Tiala? Say, for instance, there happened to be a similar pair of sandals there which you wore home by mistake. Actually, that's right. I'm impressed, Mr. Gavin. No, oh, it's nothing. There is, after all, no other possible explanation. Ya yeah, forehead. You're feeding me lines. Oh, what the? No fair. He's filling the holes in a testimony. No, he's not. He's feeding me lines. Because he's bringing up the contradiction. Of, I mean, you could look like it was closing something and then, you know, like opening something to then close it. So then we can't use that. But this is, read, read between the lines, he's feeding me lines. A defense may begin the cross-examination. Well then I will. I did go to the clinic that day, my first time in half a year since I quit in January. Probably very true. Around what time did you go to the clinic? I don't remember exactly, but it was after 9.30 I think. And that was the first time you had contacted Dr. Maractus in half a year? Of course it was. He wasn't the kind of boss you made friends with. So why did you go to the clinic that day? I went to warn him. After all, I knew Walkie had the pistol. Oh, I didn't even press that one. I don't think the doctor was a timid man either. He was working for the mob. You're not a timid man when you're working for the mob. You went to warn him, did you? Did you want Mr. Do or Dr. Maractus to run away? Well, after I failed to stop Bucky, I thought that was the only other way to avoid the problem. Couldn't you have called? Why go in person? I called several times that evening, but no one was in. The victim was busy driving home until after 9pm that night, remember? This was proven by this mirror yesterday, ya. Yeah. I thought if I warned him, he would run away for sure. Knowing the doctor... The doctor always was a timid man, too timid to admit his own mistake. Not really. I'd say everything he did was quite a ballsy move. Holding. Holding that information from the mob, not telling them what's going on. You mean that act of malpractice on Waki, correct? If he had just told Waki the truth in the beginning, none of this would have happened. True, that operation was the start of this whole affair. Oh, of course. If he told him, he might have been erased by the Katakis much earlier. It's just saying that he needs specialists to do it isn't exactly a raise worthy. If he can't do it, he can't do it, but he can give him time to do it. I mean, this is the more certain path to death. For goodness sake. A disturbing thought. We know the Mractus Clinic had ties to the Kataki family. He probably couldn't have gone to the police, even if he wanted to. That's why I knew I had to warn him. Why else would I have gone? I'm not hiding any dark secrets. I wonder about that. Just waiting to see if something showed up then. No dark secrets, eh? What? Look at me however you want, Mr. Justice. You won't find a thing. She's hiding something, I know it. I must have some evidence that proves it too. You're free to think whatever you like. I went to that clinic with only one thought in mind. I want to tell him to be careful as an old friend. Right, so this, we've got the prompt for evidence here. Hiding dark secrets. It's the fact that you knew! Isn't it? So you were about to be found out as well. That's the most obvious thing. This chart was found inside a safe in the doctor's office. Yes. Why would this one chart be in that safe? Miss Tiala, you know why it was, don't you? Mind filling me in? Dr. Maractus didn't have the leisure of making mistakes. That's why he wrote up a false report and kept the truth locked away. Bad hair doctor. And this is where you come in, Miss Tiala. The nurse who filed this chart was you, which means... Who knew about Walkie's failed operation? Interesting. You were in the same position as Dr. Maractus. 
kind of makes it hard to claim no connection, doesn't it? You're bold for a novice, I'll give you that. Mr. Justice, you must know I was only a nurse. The doctor is responsible for the chart's contents. Hmm, this chart business seems to be quite important. Please amend your testimony accordingly. Too bad, little attorney. Oh. My bracelet's reacting again! What was it, Apollo? I felt my bracelet vibrate just now. Your bracelet? Just like yesterday, like you said! When a witness isn't sure of something, their nervous habit gives them away. But I can't see anything, Apollo. Eh? Uh? Then what's my bracelet reacting to? Wait, maybe... Yes, that has to be it! What has to be it? Your senses, Apollo. They must be sharper than mine. Huh? I can't see it, but you can sense it. I don't know about that, Trucy. I don't have some kind of special power or anything. Listen to me, Apollo. There's a weak point somewhere in Miss Tiara's testimony. We don't know what a nervous habit is. Well, then what do we do? You have to perceive it yourself, Apollo, with your eyes and your senses. It's up to me and my bracelet. I don't know why, but the bracelet helps. Somehow touching it helps me focus. Let's give it a shot and bring down that testimony. Why would I go to the clinic now for a half-year-old chart? So it's somewhere here. We're gonna find it in the statement. I don't know where to look. Can't see it in the picture, but we can see it there. We've got it. It had to be the hands. It's here. Enter my world of the voodoo spiral. Why go to the clinic for a half-year-old chart now, you ask? But you know why you would go now, don't you? I don't know what you're talking about. It was quite clear, Miss Tiala. You have a nervous habit. The moment you said the word now, you used your right thumb to fiddle with your ring. What? She was unsure. I saw it. Now, that's the key word. The chart wasn't a part of your past. It was a clear and present threat. That's ridiculous. Why, if that were the case, I would have had six months to do something about it. Indeed. Eh? Which means something happened quite recently. Something to make that chart a problem for you now. The marriage? I've got her on the ropes now. I can feel it. Time to strike the killing blow. With evidence. Miss Diala, there's no use trying to hide it. The chart became a threat to you now because of this. But he was going to reveal it? Uh, what? I don't actually know what to present. Oops. Be the checkup report. Wouldn't it? The thing that prompted all this? It's not the weapon or anything we're hiding yet. It's something that she would have had outside and beforehand to act. So with that said, it's got to be just the checkup itself. No, it's, it's definitely nudable. A health checkup report belonging to the defendant. The Katakis are trying to get out of the business. The health checkup this month was their first ever. What did you think when you heard about this? Of course it's that. Eh? Oh, no, nothing. Why should I think anything? Oh, I would think you were positively beside yourself. Because you were afraid. You knew what Waki's chest x-ray would reveal. Ah! A full half year had passed since the operation. You thought you were home free. When the chart came back to haunt you. He Got her. I gotta be more confident when presenting evidence. I knew what it was from the get-go. 
I still second doubt doubted myself and checked everything. That's all, Your Honor. But what just happened? Did the witness just admit to lying? I sensed it. There was a great aura emanating from her forehead. Very cool. So the lady was lying, it seems. That's correct. She said she had no connection to the Maraxis Clinic, but her connection was deep indeed. A bit too deep. If the Kataki's got a hold of this chart with her name, she'd be finished. Isn't that right, Miss Tiala? You guessed it. Order, order! I, I did it! I broke a testimony! Amazing, Apollo! I didn't see it at all! Daddy was right about you. Wait! Miss Tiala? It's true, that chart was bad news for me. That's why I went to meet the doctor that day. But that's all! I told him about walking and went home! It appears this cross-examination is far from over. W what? She hid the truth from us, this is clear, yet. It is not clear that this truth has anything to do with the case at hand. Hmm. Very well, the witness will add this to her testimony. And we'll have a bit more cross-examination. Ah, I'm so close. You're still close. Keep on her, Apollo. Nothing happened at all. I warned him and left. Nothing happened at all. I mean, that's the main bit. Should we press that first before we go with evidence? How did Dr. Maxis respond to the warning? Oh, he was quite surprised. Panicky, even. Who wouldn't be scared to learn a Kentucky was after them? Incidentally, this court is not afraid of any mobsters. Why, we had a life-threatening situation just yesterday right here in this courtroom. Yeah, real impressive the way you stood up to the attack of the amazing Mr. Hatz, sir. After which I carried you back to your chambers. Sounds like the judge had quite a fright. Nothing happened in Dr. Max's office that day, huh? What about the mess we found? Something definitely happened in that office, Apollo. Yes, we know. I know, I know. We can't prove when it happened. Nor that Alita Tiala was in any way involved. Well, let's try putting some evidence up anyway. There's no way she went to that clinic just to warn him. Do you know why she went, Apollo? Time to figure out what really happened at that clinic. And fast. Of course, she went for the... She went for the chart itself. Trying to put up some evidence anyway, you say. It's not as easy as that, is it? Can we really say, like... Actually, it might be the lamp. So we can't really link to the gun just yet. But something happened, and that's something that could be played off with first of all, to then really lead into things. I'm not even kidding, because it's got the broken bulb. And it's got a red stain on the cord. It's such the weirdly obtuse piece of evidence. It just doesn't seem to fit. Objection! Nope, that's so wrong. The witness statement is clearly faulty. No, it's not faulty. It's not faulty. Right. We get a little bit of penalization. It's completely fine. We can't link the gun, so it's got to be the bullet. So maybe we are really going for the throat rather than not. Well, I'll leave it till next time with a cliffhanger of sorts. A little bit of a penalty due to my uh, over-eagerness, wondering what this piece of evidence could actually mean to the overall case, and wondering if it maybe slots in here. It's probably most likely the bullet that we have to present, so we'll get presenting after I think about it a little bit more. Next episode, join me for more Apollo Justice Ace Attorney then, as we continue with the case. Miss Tilita Tiala is getting herself in super deep mess, isn't she?
Bye-bye.